O le faa maa maa avenga le nei me le Pacific Easy, mo au tu pe faa mumoli saa moa. A o tapu ni ai o fisa mo le faa wa yasu. Faa unga nei lola na wa unanga foa ta ua, o le direct transfer. A fai wa yesa o membership card ma e faa unga aina le internet banking. O le matua e faing o fia lava. Na o le tiposi mai lava lau seeleni in matua account. O le faa tino leo la foa ina o lau seeleni mo a inga i saa moa. E ye 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 inga i tahu na faa malia ina. Mo ni si faa ma talanga i le nei au au nanga foa. Bala au le telefoni o val se lau o o o ta si o nono. Po le lua fitu ono fitu iva fitu faa. Pe teks mai foa ilo sua faa ili valu tolu o. Telephone voucher is one of the most convenient ways that I'm finding now to do my shopping here at Farmer Joe. And I, my sister just sent through the voucher on my cell phone, and I just go straight to Farmer Joe to do my shopping. Well, let's see two lang a bit silly on the town. Well, the last four months we've been talking a lot. I think it's really convenient for families overseas if they don't know what to how to help their families here. Like for example, if they have a lot of money, they can use it for their family. Then this is the perfect way. My dad is a good guy. 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 ไอ้หมดเลยตาลูกพ่อบ้านจ้าหัวมั่วเลยเอาไปซื้อเสียวเสียวฟินเลยต้องไปรอรอให้หมดเพียรไม่ใช่เรื่องเฟรนด์ว
stunning. And I have to admit that I'm actually quite sad that Fijian Language Week is coming, coming to, to an, an end, end because every single guest that we've had um, on our show this week have been so um, generous um, with their support and their love. And, you know, it is true. I'm going to say 100% it's true. Fijians are by far the friendliest. They, they, the they, they, they are. Like, my goodness, Sarah um, below our, our awesome Fijian, um, you know, goddess, uh, she has been oh, just an awesome, awesome support. Um, and you know what? We've been talking about Fijian uh, Language Week, and we do have a photo um, that we're just going to pop up right now mm. of just – how awesome our community is and how so this is Clendon Kids um here and it's actually Millie and Teresa. Teresa we have um interviewed before but apparently every day two o'clock they actually play this is so cute <laughs> they play our show in the center at two o'clock live this is so cute. I mean, it honestly touches my heart just to think that, you know, there's a room out there with little kids, like, you know, just watching us on the big screen. Honestly, it's just so humbling. Yep. And, and you know, and, and it's awesome. So thank you so much um, to the wonderful staff there at Clendon Kids. Um, we know that, um, you know, with the restrictions and level three, you are all doing your best and playing your part for the community to keep our children safe. Uh, and it just allows our parents to be able to go back to work uh, because right now we're, everyone's struggling. Um, mm, and true. so it's, 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 what you guys are doing is so awesome. Mm -hmm. So a shout out to Clendon Kids. Um, it is also Pinktober. Yes. And I see you have your beautiful pink <laughs> flower in your ear. Yeah. So that's why I thought, okay, I forgot to mention it yesterday, but um, I've seen uh, a lot of government, um, was it, you, know, peop you know, people in the government have actually um, highlighted yeah. Um, Pinktober and you know acknowledged it so uh, shout out to everyone who's acknowledged that as well and a shout out to our team who are out there just doing what they can for our community um, I think we mentioned it earlier myself and Claudia there's a lot of anti-vax or for vax mm. um, and I did mention on the show at the beginning of the week just dig deep um, even if you're not vaccinated I'm still your friend Claudia's still going to be your friend um, but just 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 be careful with what you say and, and how you address certain people because um, uh, what they're doing is not actually trying to um, force anyone. Mm. They're just doing what they think in their heart is right for them or the community um, and for their families. So please, please, please be kind. Just yeah. be kind. Um, but, yeah, Definitely. shout out to everyone that's um, doing their part to, you know, help our community. Definitely. Now, um, guys, like Bear said, um, please do be kind. You know, um, it is ultimately up to you to get yep. a vaccination. So for those that choose not to be vaccinated, we 100% respect your decision. Um, but just be kind to those that um, are getting vaccinated. Um, and for those of you that are vaccinated, please also be kind to those that haven't been vaccinated, um, yep. you know. Everyone um, has free will, and so we have to respect yeah. each other's decisions. And, you know, also, I, I, sorry, I, I do want to uh, make a quick shout-out to the frontline workers. Mm -hmm. um, and we have mentioned all of the nurses, the doctors, the security guards. But yesterday something actually popped up. So there was a conversation I had with um, the awesome Sala, mm -hmm. um, who actually mentioned uh, the hotel staff uh, who run the MIQ centres um, and they've actually, sp you know, spoken up about um, certain areas where they, they, they are scared and they are worried that they bring this virus back to their families or they take it back to other people. Um, and they've had to isolate every mm. single week for months to ensure that they keep us safe. Mm. And not just that, I mean, I've just heard that... Um, you know, now with the COVID um, that has now um, gone into the community and into, I'm not going to mention it, but there there are some people that, um, you know, with some powerful <laughs> influence in the community, not in, so much in a good way, but that they're now in, sitting in MIQ um, facilities and our, you know, our people don't feel safe. So guys, just please be careful. Just be careful with what mm -hmm. you say. Yeah. Just be nice if it's not nice 
Tell the wall. <laughs> yeah. Talk to the wall. <laughs> and mind your own BC Nisi, yeah, as right. we've been saying. But guys, it is um, Fijian Language Week. And just a reminder that this week, the theme has been My Language Provides Stability to My Wellbeing. And if you tuned in yesterday, um, you would have noticed I was very, very proud of my joke of the day. So I'm going <laughs> to share it again today. Um, so fair. I feel like this joke <laughs> needs to stay in its Well, this is the bubble. last time it's got to come out of the bubble, so I'm going to do it. So right, fair. let's go. What did the giant say after he ate Fiji? I want some more. I want some more. <laughs> I, I think it's the best joke out mama. there. <laughs> but guys, um, on that high note today, we have a two a beautiful, yeah. stunning empowering um fijian women on our work yeah. show um our first guest um is sassy now she is a household name throughout the global pacific community and has been hailed the queen of fijian pop sassy's original fijian pop songs which she writes with her poet husband um pj are on high rotate on radio stations around the pacific with millions and millions of views on her YouTube channel and a large following on social media, it's easy to see why Sassy is a crowd favorite. Now, she has also performed widely at festivals and events around Fiji, New Zealand, and the Pacific, and was head judge for FPR AMAs and on the judging panel for Fiji One television show Vocal Battle. Sassy has also recorded and toured extensively, opening for Black Eyed Peas, Catch a Fire, and Dizzy Rascal, and has performed with many top musicians, including members um, such as Stan Walker and Sons of Zion. Now, that is an impressive resume, I'm going to say, and I'm so oh excited to have her on the show. I'm super excited. We've been listening to her jams and what? <laughs> Yes. Awesome, beautiful woman. Um, and our second guest is a local business uh, woman. Um, our second guest is Sarah from Lavetti. Lavetti is a Fijian owned e commerce platform that empowers and elevates traditional and contemporary creators from the Fiji Islands, which is where our beautiful Salu Salu is from. Um, uh, at Lavetti, they work closely with their vendors to create unique Fijian products for your special events or for your home decor. They bring you a feel of bulla wherever you are in the world by connecting Fijian creatives to the global market. They enable worldwide recognition for local talents, the social and economic growth for our people. And I mean, I am so excited. We've got two big powerhouses yeah. Fijian queens on the show today. So honestly, I think we should just head into that break. Yeah, and let's bring them head out. into the break. But sorry, before we quickly go into the break, guys, I'm not too sure if you remember, but we have here the Blue Table Talanoa team, uh, Blue Wave team, Blue TV team. We've been nominated for a New Zealand Podcast Award. Yeah. Not just the local, not just Pacific, not just Samoa. Woo. New Zealand, the whole of New Zealand. So we need your help, please. Mm. We need everyone to jump on the website and vote for yeah. us, if you can, mm -hmm. please. Um, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is um, head over to nzpodcastawards.com um, and then you have to click Submit Podcast and then vote for us. Um, the name of our podcast is Bear and Claudia Blue Table Podcast. Um, enter your email and then the link to the podcast is www.facebook.com forward slash blue wave. So it's just oh, wow. so easy. It's super She's easy. And <laughs> we are going to play a short video for you as well um, that will give you those same instructions. Stay tuned, guys. The phrase of the day is which means to send our regards. Bulavinakana, Dangoko Polini Buniva. 
The word of the day is Rakasasanga, which means cooking. Tosa <laughs> Sepala ya voice wow, mola uta pan. A fai po yowai fai po olusa, a wale te poli, ma tu te sepala ya voice ewa mola uta pan. Mola uno po si la pia, mua mua, ta pela uta vale pe out, mua ta pela uta telefon ni ta meu tu ina uta pan. Ma le va enga mula mula, ma na tu afu. E matua i fasa aina, lo te oma kita pa aina fuanga fa peina. Ota Samoa, ole ma ota mo Samoa. Ma do te fia fia e au auna pe mo oi Samoa. Ma tai le fia mai. We'll see you again. God bless. a little bit distracted there. Oh. Lisa, be Naka, everyone, and welcome back. Um, we're just honestly blown away by the immense amount of talent that we have on the show today. We have uh, the beautiful, um, soulful, powerhouse um, singer, um, Sassy, and we also have the beautiful Sarah, who's actually the maker of these beautiful salo salo, and I've said the word beautiful today so many times, but it's true, you know. Ooh. The show is just going to be a beautiful show. Um, but we are going to bring the ladies on to introduce themselves. So thank you so much, ladies. Um, Sarah, um, if you could please say hello um, and introduce yourself. And if you would like to introduce yourself in Fijian, we would most yeah. likely, we will love it because we just love the sound of the Fijian language. Thank you, ladies. Nisa Mbulu Vinakakebe, Naivango Serafimi Naulumatua. Eu não ganhei ali o nilau, mas vou não palavo. Eu tive que chegar com o Landi para na embaki. Eu tive que vou na business em que na labiti sabe lá que chegou o na embaki. So what I just said was uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Sarah Femi Naumatua, um, and I live in Auckland. And I moved here not long ago, just four years now. And uh, I recently started um, labiti. Uh, a uh, cultural shop here in Auckland. And um, with regards to the Salu Salu, sorry, I, I wish I could take credit for it, but um, what you're feeling is the beautiful uh, handmade, hand work of our crafters back in Fiji. And um, wow. yeah, they, they do such an amazing job. And I'm, I'm glad that you feel that when you put that on. Thank you so much, Sarah. And Ofe, you actually mentioned that, you know, when we, but on the salo salo, we are supposed to kind of feel the energies mm. um, of 
all these other positivity, especially from the hand um, crafters. And we do. We feel like absolute queens yeah. um, wearing these salas salas. So thank you so much, Sarah, for these. Um, and Sassy, it's an absolute honor to have you on the show. Could you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Naka, ni sambulu naka kebe, na idango sesi, au marama ni New Zealand, ya vawachi mbua, Fiji, o ilu nalu vengu kai Namosi. Namosi is um, a place in the highlands in Biti level, so I was just saying my children are from there. Uh, I'm married to a place in Bua, my husband is from Vano level. And uh, I'm a New Zealander, but I've lived in Fiji a long time. <laughs> You know what? That's amazing. But you can tell you can, you can hear it in your accent. And um, for our viewers who've just tuned in, uh, Sass is actually married to a Fijian, but is a New Zealander. And <laughs> I'm just blown away the way that you 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 speak. I'm oh my goodness, and the music. But look, it's such an honor and pleasure having you both um here. Um, we're gonna get started, but. Gosh, I'm just blown away right I, now. You know, <laughs> ladies, um, I have been sharing my one solid joke on the show this whole entire week. So I'm going to share it with you guys as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this um, week on a bang. I know Pear's going to kill me after the show. But um, ladies, here's my one solid Fijian joke. Um, what did the giant say after he ate Fiji? What? <laughs> He said, no. I want some more. <laughs> no. I think you need to learn some Fijian jokes. I do. I do. That's the only one I have, but I do. I'm going to get onto that, Sassy. Go to a conversation. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, please. Should we have one after the show? I think so. Right. Uh, <laughs> virtual, virtual conversation. Why not? I think I think we can. But you know what? It's, it's just been an amazing week. The energy that the Fijians, are, you know, community have brought through epic week and I'm I, I cannot I think and I've already mentioned it before this has been one of my most favorite and probably a memorable a moment for us um, here at uh, Blue Table Talano so man and to finish it off with two powerful women damn <laughs> um, so Sassy look you've previously said that your children are you know well your children are half Fijian, and so living mm. in Fiji allows them to experience and explore their culture, identity, and learn the language. Can you just tell us uh, why you think culture and identity is so important? Naka, yeah, um, it is very, very important to children to understand where they're from, their roots, um, and to give them that sense of confidence about who they are as a person. So, you know, that they're standing on the shoulders of giants as we speak, so they understand their ancestors and where they've come from in terms of the vanua, the, like the land, the geographical place, but also the customs and those things, the traditions that make them who they are and who their parents and grandparents are. Um, and obviously using the arts to convey that, we are trying to pass that on to the next generation through music. Mm. Now, um, Sassy, I'm going to ask you, what was it about the Fijian culture mm. and Fijian people that made you fall so in love that you were actually now living in Fiji? Oh, um, <laughs> you wouldn't find it hard to see that if you go there. So Fiji is just, apart from being a stunningly beautiful place to look at, um, it is the people, and you've said it as well, the people are so kind, so friendly, so warm. Um, <clears throat> it is customary that if you pass somebody's house, they invite you in to eat whatever they're eating. Be oh it my God, I'm rice sold. <laughs> or a banquet. Yeah, so customary <laughs> is like, come and eat with us. It's always the way. And that, is, that just sums up the culture. So it's absolutely, it steals your heart from the beginning to the end. That's why a lot of Kiwis and Aussies love holidays in Fiji. Um, and the way that Fijian culture wraps their arms around children as well, just the love that they share with your own kids, it just rubs off on you. So I've, I've always really enjoyed being there. I love living in Fiji. Um, I'm... Oh, I'm booking my flight now. I really <laughs> yeah. wanted to go back to Samoa, but I'm thinking actually that's changed my mind. But you know, Sassy, yeah. you know, you 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 know, you're from Auckland, New Zealand. Mm. What about your New Zealand side? Um. Yeah. Well. So I guess on my, you mean like ancestors, where they're from? Yeah. No, I mean like yeah. Well, I mean, and what about that side of of you? Do you mm. not want your children to learn, or do you think? 
you're okay. That's so intrinsically there, you know, like I think any any Fijian kids gr- growing up in New Zealand, the first language will probably be English. I mean, mm. even if the parents speak Fijian at home, English is so dominant here for Pacific kids. It's hard for them to hold on to their language and their customs. So I feel like the New Zealand side is strong no matter what. I mean, they have a strong Kiwi mum. And um, from my other friends who have married into the culture, you see that Kiwi side just creeps in no matter what, you know, it does. <laughs> the, um, there's many things. And you don't realize in New Zealand that we have a culture, mm. really, until you go overseas or you marry into another culture. Mm. And that's when it shows up. So actually, it's there. It's just there. <laughs> it's there. Definitely. But the mm. Fijian one obviously won your heart, right? <laughs> Yeah, it did. I think for music as well, it's just I found a really beautiful home to to sit with my music. And even though I'm a soul singer and I did a jazz degree, I mean, I have a jazz background, but I just love Fijian music. Love yeah. that. Now, um, Sarah, um, you know, you're hearing here firsthand from a New Zealand born um, lady that she is just so in love with the Fijian culture. And you are bringing the Fijian culture yeah. to the New Zealand um, shores through Laveti. Can you please explain um, how Lavetti um, came to be? What inspired you and why the name Lavetti? Mm. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, and before I go into that, I would like to just commend you both on and the program for taking on uh, this week uh, and as a theme for the show. I think that's really great. So thank you from all the Vinaka, viewers. Vinaka, thank you so much. <laughs> You guys are doing such a great job and look stunning with those salus salus and without them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, the idea of Laveti uh, came to me last year when I was uh, during our first lockdown. When I was just thinking, what if I wanted to have a uh, celebrate a cultural uh, ceremony or something like that here in New Zealand, and how would I get it? Uh, I did a bit of research, and it was uh, not easy to access that in Auckland. So then I start it. Everything started from there, um, and so. Um, our mission is to, uh, when you're seeking any cultural uh, um, items from Fiji, that you will receive the full authentic piece because that can be lost or dissolved in the process or transaction from Fiji to here or the person, the interpretation of the person getting it can be lost. So when we are um, when we um, providing our, so one, sub, to name a few of our products, Salu Salu, Masi and Mets, we make sure that they're receiving it um, uh, with the mana that it deserves uh, to be shared with. Um, and Laveti, um, it's named after my grandmother. And that's where I draw a lot of my inspiration, my motivation from. Um, she was my mom's mom. Uh, she was around a lot when we grew up because my parents were still growing up as well. So <laughs> we were with her a lot. Um, and uh, she was very gifted in that sense. And what I admired a lot about her was her pride in her work. Uh, she was very gifted as well in making things herself. Um, but her pride in her work and her culture um, and having that as part of her identity, that, that was the, the number one I draw from her and also her hard work uh, to keep on going, whatever the challenges you face, like uh, you can overcome them. Um, but yes, and that's, that's who the company is named after, Lavetti. And uh, to translate even the word Lavetti uh, to English, it's, um, it's uh, uplift or empower or raise. Um, so that's the manner we're trying to share as well for our crafters back home in Fiji uh, to uplift them and our Fijian culture as a whole uh, everywhere outside of Fiji. I love that. And I love how you've incorporated that yeah. into your tagline, Lavetti, where it says empower uplift and inspire mm. now um honestly sarah um yeah. like we were saying we are absolutely in love mm. um with the salu salu now you, on your website you also have um mats hand fans and um a tupper um can you explain um the differences between these cultural um things and yeah. the meaning behind it um so the differences between the cultural our cultural products yes the ones that you are currently selling on your website 
Okay, um, so for example, the main difference for the ones you're wearing, um, the one that the pair is wearing is uh, it's dyed brown. This is very special that they use a lot for the chiefs and uh, oh. side things. Um, and, and the one you're wearing, Claudia, is the white tapa, but also very special and both are made of Masi and tapa. Um, the colors have changed over, over time. Uh, they've become contemporary for, um, for, uh, for people to choose their colors and stuff. So I guess the contemporary side of things are coming in through, through what you're seeing. So with the pair, very cultural, with, uh, with uh, Claudia, um, very um, contemporary. That is so interesting. And is there like a special occasion that we um, need to be wearing these at? Because I just think it's so beautiful. I just want to wear it every day, but I don't want to be rude. <laughs> you can wear it every day. No, no. Perfect. Um, uh, so for ceremonies such as birthdays or weddings or graduations, uh, you'll see them uh, on, on, on Fijians. Now, also, um, when you see me walking around in Manukau, you're also going to see me wearing these. <laughs> You'll know that's Claudia. <laughs> Look, you know, and I really, I really am. I, I, I absolutely love this. Um, sorry, Sarah, in Samoa, we have um, the fine mats, the, sorry, fine mats, which is falalalanga. Um, and it's actually a very, very um, important part of our culture. Um mm -hmm. And the outside world or New Zealand-born Samoans don't mm. actually know the value of it. So mm. it's not so much monetary on it, but the value because of the time that it takes to weave, um, mm. you know, and it's it's just the process of it is why it's so valuable. It's just from beginning to end. Would you say that that is the same um, with with the piece that we're wearing now, like the the process, the dyeing? Because I know you have to take it out um, into the sun, get natural light, come back, dye it, and then you, you know, there's there's so much um, work that goes into it that there is, it's just a priceless piece. Is that similar with, with what you do, you know, with the products that you bring over from Fiji? Fiji, yes. Uh, so they're all mostly plant-based, everything that we um, have the salusalusa, are, the mats are, the masis are, and the, you, you, we share the same um, value for the process because of the process. Um, it takes it, for example, putting making a mat, uh, it's good. It would take days, uh, depending on the size and the design. Uh, for also the tapa that or the masi that that is also a process that takes days, um, and hours and not only one person there's a whole community that mm. come together to help and and uh, make a piece uh and same with the salusalus yes now um sassy you are um you've been hailed the queen of fijian um pop and you are a star <laughs> across the pacific um you are new zealand born and so i'm interested to know interested to know how is it that the pacific culture the fijian culture has played such an important part in your music? Um, it's just been a journey over time. So I obviously did come from a musical background and I went through music school. Like I said, I did a jazz degree and I was teaching here for quite a while, teaching, singing and performing and I was in lots of bands. And then I, I went to Fiji and I had been touring around the Pacific already. I'd been to Vanuatu, I'd been to Tonga. Um, and I loved those islands, but when I got to Fiji, something different just stuck with me. It was, like I said, it was the people, it was everything, the vibe of the culture, um, and also the music. And I loved the, um, just from the string bands to like the music with the, the remixes on the bus, I loved everything I heard. It just had so much soul and so much of a heartbeat. So it just sat with me. And yes, I married a Fijian and we actually moved to New Zealand, had my children, uh, my three older kids and then I got a job teaching at the international school in Suva so I went and lived there for three years and at that point um, things hiked up a gear because then I was in the scene in the Suva music scene and people knew me as like this jazz singer but um, then the sort of soul music came out and eventually over time I was more interested in writing in the in the vernacular so I was enlisting people to help me okay like I could speak a little bit of Fijian but writing it was different 
Um, so I got a few people to help me and the songs were okay, but it wasn't like hitting where I needed it to hit because I am a songwriter. I'm a songwriter and I wanted a specific sound and a specific level of meaning. And it wasn't until um, my, so I'm in my second marriage. So this is my second husband, um, PJ. I met him and said to him, oh, you said you write poetry. And he said, yeah, yeah. And he just like threw me a piece of paper. He wrote something in five minutes. He oh, just wow. like went like this, like, brr. and we wow. were in Tavini at the time. <laughs> Literally, Laura, this was so amazing. Like this was Kalu Kalu Volosinga, and my first song with him. And um, we were living in Taviuni. We were just chilling out in our flat and like life is simple on the island. You don't really have, we didn't have power and all these things. So we were just like, they would say in Fiji and like aimless too. So we were just like mucking around, had, had nothing to do. He scribbled out this thing and passed it to me. And I looked at it and I could see already the meaning was there. It was deep. But then we, um, he read it out to me and we broke down the lyrics. And it's, um, it's like what they call vosomakawa. So this is like traditional poetry. It's, it's got depth of meaning from the old days, that sort of language. It's like when we read Shakespeare, um, so much imagery. And, and it just hit. It really hit. So um, that's when I really felt like I was able to express myself the way I want to in, in a Fijian language. And the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, I find that so interesting that you say that, um, yeah. you know, about the, the depth of the meaning and about um, producing music that hits. Because Ben and I, we were actually on your YouTube um, channel yesterday yeah. and we were also listening to this one song called Koto Yawa Sara. Yeah. And well we um, <laughs> didn't, thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah. we didn't, um, we don't understand Fijian um, just yeah. yet. But we mm. started crying because of the music um, yeah. just hit us so much. So even though mm. we couldn't understand the lyrics, we understood the music and yeah. it, it was it was powerful it was very very powerful. i love that so much it actually yeah. makes me feel emotional because it's so that is the power of music you know and it's it's amazing that we're able to convey something in a language where you don't even understand but yes. music is your language yes. and that is the whole idea of it and um pj always says that as well it's like oh well i'm writing you poems but it's then you're you're delivering them in a certain way and you're expressing it and so we feel so blessed to be able to have this union where you know, we can come together and create something that has yeah. power of its own. You know, I don't take the credit. It's, it is what it is. No, it's honestly, God. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it really yeah. is God because yeah. like, yeah. when we were listening mm. to your songs and we listened to many, <laughs> trust me, oh. but it was just like, it was just like something had entered our body and we had goosebumps, mm. we had tears and we were like holding each other's hand. We, you know, it was a beautiful week and it was just such a oh, high man highlight yesterday of um of our day yeah. but sassy we have wow. also been told um that you don't sing heartbreak songs is that correct <laughs> i'm getting known for this now so um yeah we do and have, if it is like, why not <laughs> okay so i don't know uh, i don't really know if it's the same in someone music but um traditionally sarah will back me up on this fijian music is like kavoru music which means heartbreak broken kavoru yeah, is like yeah. broken Yes. So it's classic. It's like people love to sit around the cover bowl and like drown their sorrows, just like a man at a pub, you know. I can relate. Um, <laughs> listening to the heartbreak songs, you know. And it's so funny to me because I'm like, why don't we celebrate love? Why aren't yeah. we being mm. positive here? And I feel like we need to change the script because, and this is quite deep, but there's a lot of broken relationships yeah. from my experience in Fiji. I mean, this is probably not just Fiji, but honestly, I feel like the institution of marriage and just what it all means, it's all upside down now, like mm. modern life and modern culture and the internet and all these things have come into play. And we really want to celebrate love and push love and say that there's value to staying with someone, you know, stick it out. And I mean, I'm, this is a second marriage. I said, you know, so we both, PJ and I both know what it's like to come from a broken relationship and we don't want that for other people. We're trying to say, listen, Let's try not to be broken anymore. Unbreak. Let's unbreak it and break. You know what? Break Sassy, unbreak my heart. I'm gonna toss out all my heartbreak songs, and I'm just gonna start listening to your music. Because you know, we were Aww. just sitting there just listening. Positivity, and, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know, and I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to. I'm so sorry, so we're gonna drag this a little bit long because I, I'm actually um I love I, I love love songs, right? And you're mm. right, Samoans and the Pacific. They are always singing broken ass music. <laughs> it's like, um, 
what about the person in front of and and, and you know and mm. yesterday we were so blown away you know with the song i actually downloaded it and i Aww. jammed it like on, it's on repeat and you know i i it's just the words wow. and i was saying to to claudia that in the samoan language you know the, the music the words in that you use in you know the samoan language it it touches like another level that mm. the english language cannot surface cannot. Yes. You know, is that the it's, same with Fijian music? Because I feel like yeah. that song yesterday, I kind of thought, man, you know, love does exist. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, exactly. And I love think you've exists. touched on a really good point because it's actually a, um, it's a challenge for us in our songwriting. So the lyrics are really deep. Like if Sarah could just listen to Koti Sarra and she was hearing it in Fijian, what she receives emotionally from that is such a fuller package than what you receive reading the English. Mm, so the right, English yeah. is shallow yeah. and we also have to translate it um, like yeah. in a summary way, like contextually, because mm. if you do word for word, it sounds so weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> you'll be like that in English is like what it's weightless. Like there's nothing um, because a lot of it's imagery. Mm. So a lot of the songs, yes, um, that you just need to understand Fijian to get the depth, but we hope that, where the words fail in English, the music picks up and carries you. Yeah. Uh, it carried. It carried us oh. yesterday. And I, I hand on heart, I'm telling you that language, mm. um, you know, the Fijian and you know, just the way that you sung it, it was so soulful. Yeah. It hit, oh, it, it, it hit another level. And we already knew that it was just, oh, we, we, there's just, nothing that can describe how beautiful it was and you already knew you already sensed it you already felt it it was and you're right it moved us in ways that a normal english song would never Definitely. i mean yeah we can listen to unbreak my heart and all this <laughs> yeah but that hit the soul differently yesterday and myself and claudia that's our number one hit right now I really absolutely I have love to, it i have to show you these and i also have to use this expression and do aninga, which means dotani, it's like something else. So these here, these masks are from my oh, in-laws. And they I just love them to me. Wow. This is the Senin Boa. So my husband is from Boa. This is their, their flower. And my, my mother-in-law and father-in-law have created all of these beautiful. Sarah might want to sell these on my behalf. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there we go, guys. Tani Modia, this is the, um, you might have heard of this flower. It is the flower of the island Tavuni. There's a beautiful legend to this. Um, that's for another segment we'll have to do on legends from Fiji. <laughs> and they've done all of these little sayings. So this is a cute pink one. That's um, boa, the French penny. Amazing. And, um, and this one here, have you guys heard my song, Sani Mokasoi, my rendition of that? I think we did, yes. Yeah. Oh, That's the yeah. way. And this is the three that. flowers that represent my husband and where he's from. Oh, I love so, that. So um, all of these places are in Vanua level. So this is not the mainland. Mm. It's like mm. the other big island. Yeah. And uh, it's got like the dialect. So it's like, that is how they say hello <laughs> in Mbua. Good stuff, you, you know, I um, love that. Yeah, there's plenty of dialects. There's so many dialects in Fiji. That's another whole like trying to learn the dialects. <laughs> I love that so much. And Sarah, you know, um, you, you were born and yeah. raised in Fiji, and you know, your Fijian culture is absolutely beautiful. Now you're living in New Zealand. What are the most, um, I guess, um, what are the bigger things that you miss from your Fijian culture mm. while living here in Auckland? Um, you know. <laughs> Um, there's a lot involved in Fijian culture and tradition, but I'm still very connected and I love all of them. I guess in a way where I'm involved with Labeti, it's doing that for me uh, through our crafts and working with our team back home. Um, and uh, yeah, I think um, what Sess is doing through music and there's other um, there's another dance company here in Auckland uh, teaching Fijian dance uh, and speaking the language and also being involved with community back home. It, it keeps us connected that way, I, I, I feel. Now, I love that. Now, Sarah, yeah. as well, um, what challenges did you face? Because you are a very proud Fijian um, yeah. BC Nisi. 
because that's the another Fijian word that I've learned. <laughs> but you, you are a very proud uh, Fijian Bisinisi. Um, what challenges did you face entering mm. the um, New Zealand Western market? Yeah. Um, the, our current uh, challenges is with the delays that COVID is doing. Mm. Um, if we're going to speak logistics, but um, um, connecting with our vendors have not been an issue. Uh, everyone's been so on board and supportive, and like they they also uh, um, they also like cheering Laveti on and and hoping that it will go well here in, in New Zealand. Um, but it is true that it, we are targeting a niche market. Um, but I, the other, other cultures like Samoa and Tonga, we've had some interest from them as well, uh, especially with our tapa. So uh, we've been able to uh, extend to, the other, to our other uh, neighboring islands. <laughs> um, but yeah, that the at the moment, sadly and understandably, it's just with COVID. But everything else around running a business and with our products being uh, targeting a niche market, it's it's been going okay. Yeah. Now, and we have been receiving um, comments on how our viewers Beautiful. can actually purchase <laughs> these salu salu. So, Sarah, can you please share with us? Um, do you have any social media pages that our viewers can follow, um, and how they can actually purchase one of these? Um, we are all sold out now in Salus Salus. Sorry, no, I'm guys. joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have our Laveti website, so laveti.org. You can access all our products there. Uh, we're also on Facebook uh, at Laveti Fiji. You can type that in and you'll find us. And also on Instagram. <laughs> Uh, at Love PG. And um, there might be other profiles that show up, but ours is with the, the black That's circle. The one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and we are slowly trying to build our LinkedIn and Twitter and uh, other social, uh, oh, and TikTok as well, coming TikTok. soon. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to see what you're going to put out on TikTok. But um, for everyone that's watching, head over to all yep. those platforms that um, Sarah just mentioned. Um, and be into the know because you have to purchase yeah. one of these. It's just, you I'm, feel like a queen. You embody like these positive, radiant energies. I don't know how to <laughs> describe it, but I just feel like a different person You just right need now. to buy one. But <laughs> yes. look, um, it's, a, you know, it's a traditional um, spotlight on you. It's a cultural it spotlight. Yeah. It is. And we love it. Well, perfect way to end and wrap off Fijian Language Week here in New Zealand. I mean, talking about the Fijian Language Week, and New Zealand. Um, mm. Sassy, you will probably be the perfect one to ask mm. as well, well, both of you. But Sassy, here's a question. Um, you know what it's like, the life here in New Zealand and now also in Fiji. Are there any Fijian practices, um, or you know, traditional practices, sorry, that um, so you practice and apply it in your home that you think, and well, just your thoughts, um, we could apply here on our children and in our community here in New Zealand um, that could help with the growth? Cultural development, <coughs> you mean by growth? Sorry, yeah. yes, cultural development. Yeah. Um, yeah, Vinaka, it's, it's really respect. I think that is the biggest value in, well, across the Pacific, but, you know, speaking in terms of Fijian culture, um, children show a lot of respect in the home, in a Fijian home. Um, and there'll be little things that you notice if you enter a Fijian home. So things like uh, children would not be sitting up on a seat higher than an elder, anyone older than them, things, little things like that. Interesting. You wouldn't pass through a group of people without uh, ducking and saying chilo, chilo, chilo. Children tend to um, serve upon the adults more and just show respect that way. It's like acknowledging, you know, the levels um, of authority in a home. And um, I think the other thing that's really strong in most Fijian homes is um, devotions and just that sense of family and church and God, you know, like having a strong sense of faith in the family. I kind of miss that here. Like, it's just not as strong. I know that's quite a general statement, but generally speaking, when you're in Fiji, like living in Tavuni, you hear devotion, seven o'clock, boom, seven mm. o'clock, everyone stops. Right, Sarah? <laughs> it's like, that's, you hear it in the neighborhood, like the yeah. singing. And it's so beautiful, just that a cappella singing old church songs, hymns and things. 
I really miss that actually. So I think that's something that we, I mean, I don't always successfully pull it off, but we try, we try to do that. And the kids will be like, Oh, mom, but da, 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 I'm watching this YouTuber, you know, yeah. watch himself and react to his TikTok. I'm like, why don't we put the devices away for a minute? Definitely. Um, now, Sarah, um, you know, this is probably one of the more important questions that we can yeah. ask on our show, um, and it's got to do with food. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite Fijian dish? Oh, oh my gosh. I love Or top seafood. three. <laughs> Oh, it's all seafood. It's yeah. so like it's it's gold here in Auckland. If somebody could import Fijian seafood here, mm. you will be really in for a successful business. Um, the waki, nama, and uh, kukonda. Oh, kukonda. Uh, Number you know, just, just seeing <laughs> Sassy's reaction, I'm like, we got to get some of that. <laughs> I feel like we fish. need to start yeah. a Fijian uh, import to um, bring mm. in the, the fish in. <laughs> yes, I make a lot of this myself and unfortunately no one's really doing it. You have to make it yourself. Mm. There we go. Um, so anyone that's watching, there's a little business venture that you can kind of venture on yep. if you choose to. <laughs> But I love that. You know, Sarah, oh, sorry, Sassy, sorry, Sassy. Sassy, I absolutely love singing. Love it. I love it. Um, but my voice, well. This is me too. <laughs> we, yeah, I don't, I don't, um, I wasn't blessed with the vocal no. cords that you've been blessed with. But I love, <laughs> absolutely love singing. I love music. Do you yeah. have any advice for someone like myself? And is there too. hope? I is there? <laughs> Man, okay, okay, okay. You know, it's funny because I really have been thinking a lot about doing workshops and um, maybe there's something there. Maybe I'll do it next year. But, um, and we were planning to do a tour. Obviously, we're not doing it now, but we'll do it later. And we were going to do a workshop in the afternoon and then do the show at night. And that was to do with songwriting as well. But for singing, I think one thing that you've got to do is sing, sing along with artists that you really love and admire and try to match their vocals. So like actually try to be in sync with them. Mm. That's one thing you can do. Gotcha. Um, obviously, if you can't hear the pitch, like some people love to sing, but they can't hear if they're in tune, it's a lot harder. But if you can hear the pitch and you know if you're off, that's already a good start like you already said that like oh you don't think that your vocals are kind of always on so that means you've probably got the ear to be able to tell that yeah um so that's the hardest thing to teach is pitch if people can't sing in tune it's very very hard to move on from there but yeah like I said you can correct pitch if it's a little like slippery you know what I mean like it's sort of there mm -hmm. sort of not um so yeah I think the sing along with artists and songs that you love um scales are really boring but really important just like times tables you just have mm. to know them and that's how you can expand on your range um and breathing so if you've ever done diaphragm breathing like um swimming you know oh yes I good diaphragm breathing that. is the it's like the whole engine room the I diaphragm actually room. um try to because I love Mariah Carey and I try to match her vocals but I feel like I should try um with oh, someone a little bit got, easier yeah <laughs> she's got that whistle like there's a point yeah. we all have to just walk away from her because it's too high with Whitney Houston, I, so I don't know about Whitney Houston as well to see her. yeah Whitney no Houston Whitney too. Houston is is another yeah. tough one <laughs> I think I might just very, um, very hard. Well, I've been trying to sing um, or copy Fiji's, uh, reenact Fiji's um, music, but um, mm. I kind of thought I might have be able to kind of like, um, I don't know, nail it one year. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure the chat's going to go off saying, ah, oh, bear, yeah, no, stick to your J, J, J job, day <laughs> job. But, you know, I absolutely love it. And I, do you know what? Mm. I, I think it's um, I think it's time because we, we're going to have to wrap up shortly. But um, but before we do, um, Sassy, like we were mentioning, um, Bear and I, we were absolutely touched um, by your song. Yes. So may we, you know, cheekily ask if you could maybe <laughs> sing the chorus for us on the show? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Well, I was going to try and put the, the backing track on, but it might be a bit too much technical stuff for me to do while I'm on the Zoom. Uh, can you see me? No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so I might have to sing without you seeing me. 
Oh no, that's okay. that's okay. Oh yeah, okay. Let's see if I can get it playing at the same time. Can you hear the music? No. No. All right, I'm gonna try and make it um, play at the same time. So I hope you can still, can you still hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we're just gonna try this. It's a bit experimental. I just hope that you can try, right? Okie doke. Okay, I'm just gonna sing without the backing track because I'm not sure if that worked. All right, here we go. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, cool. I'm excited. All right. Sorry, the music is playing in the background. And I'll be tall, say, to go vura vura. Now, tango in home to Nava Candua, Dinan in Renre, the Kenado Laibua, Evan Dongo Nandondomo, Miss in the Kenawa, Evan Dongo Nandondomo, Miss in the Kenawa. So that means, um, like the waves. I'm getting uh, crushing against the reef honestly. is my love I don't love know fear. if the camera can pick it up, but I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. Sorry, that the audio so went a bit funny. I loved it. We loved it. And guys, um, to the, to every, all the viewers, head over to YouTube. I promise mm. you. It will change your life. It will change your life. Um, I'm oh. not too sure about the second marriage thing, Claudia. I'm just going to get into trouble for saying this, but... Damn, I'm gonna look for a Fijian man now. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, did I say that on, uh, on air? Oops, sorry guys. But wow. I tell you, wow, that's that's how powerful your song yeah. was. I'm mm. just saying, just trying to compare it to something. <laughs> that's me. Let us ladies not be giving too much credit to the other, you know, <laughs> half. Let's just be <laughs> That's right. Um, that's right. Yeah. That's right. But Sarah, no, I'm um, joking. He before, does amazing. No, before we um before we do uh wrap up the show, Sarah, do you have any shout outs or any um last words that you want to share with us? And honestly, by all means, it can also be in Fijian because the language yep. is just gorgeous. Thank you, guys. Um, there is a there's actually a challenge on that we're doing Bosamanda challenge. So to all the Fijians out there, uh, it closes tomorrow. Get your videos in. Mm -hmm. um, I just um, Claudia. Thank you for this opportunity uh, that you've uh, you're elevating and uplifting Laveti. And in that sense, you're definitely up, uplifting and elevating all our crafters and team back at home and Fiji as a whole. So this is amazing. Um, Sassy, um, it's so good to see that yourself and your husband are carrying on the culture and and passing it down to your children because at the end of the day like they can all the be all those channels around you that's available for you to be in contact with or in touch with your culture and tradition but at the end of the day it's up to you it's a choice that someone makes and um that's kudos to you and your husband mm -hmm. um, and uh, to team blue tv this is mm -hmm. so great uh, I am literally kick dying below this. <laughs> so thank you for pulling me outside of my comfort zone. And uh, oh, you were amazing, Sarah. I know it's and been an for, absolute honor. Thank you, thank you for uplifting our our Fijian community. Vinaka. Thank you so much. And honestly, everyone, please head over to um, yeah. Laveti. Facebook, um, Instagram, website, um, TikTok now as well. Um, like, share, <laughs> yeah. um, because honestly, we have to support our, support our um, community. Pacific community. We have to support yeah. our sisters and brothers. And come on, guys, this is just this is beautiful. Stunning. And honestly, it's free to mm. just share. Yeah, just share it. Even if you're not going to buy something, mm. maybe mm. someone on your friend list is probably thinking, "Oh, where can I find this?" Yeah. You know, if you just share it. Someone, you know, might, may be interested. Mm -hmm. So that's you helping our community yeah. as well. Um, but look, Sassy, your music, uh, I think that was, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't 
My heart's going like this. You know, I can die happy now. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. That's, you can't, you know, and that's how you can describe. <laughs> it's the subtle, subtle. It's the music yeah. that if something happened to me today, I'll be satisfied. I'm going to. I'm gonna die and go to heaven. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Oh, really it's very, it's very true. That's that this whole week uh, it's been amazing. But look, Sassy, um, before you know, before we end off, um, you know, we wrap up the show, do you have any um, you know, words of encouragement, especially for our, you know, Fijian language um week that we're celebrating? Mm-hmm. Or any um upcoming musicians that may be feeling, oh gosh, what's your last or your or your final words for us today, please? I just want to say it's really good to have the support of um, non-Fijian media as well. I mean, that's always mm. such a bonus. I'm so blessed to have, um, you know, like 531PI and New FM have been amazing. It's so cool to, have, to come into contact with new media um, groups like yourselves that are willing to support us. It is very, very hard for the arts at the moment with COVID. Obviously, there's no live performance. Um, tours are all pushed back, you know, like we can't even really sell music very easily. It's quite tough. So, um, yeah, as much as you can support your local artists out there, guys, just uh, purchase the music rather than download it. It's a big issue in Fiji with copyright. And I know that the like we're trying to change it, but it will take its time. So I'm always an advocate for that. Just try and support like you said it's free to share as well share their pages share their instagram facebook and youtube links and stuff because that all helps us build our traction and build our following and in turn we can try and get some funding so all of those things really help um but we just want to say thank you to you guys today for shining a light on fijian entrepreneurs uh, and arts and also um Sarah from Laveti, I really appreciate what you're doing. I mean, I'm impressed. I think it's amazing that in the last year, you've built this up from scratch. Uh, it's such a big need in, in New Zealand because like right now, my boy is about to turn one and the salu salu is needed. You know, usually you dress them up in a tapa outfit, actually, like masi, full masi, and they wear a garland. And for me, I'm asking my mother-in-law, can you try and get me one tangi modia salu salu in time? Like I've got three weeks. So with COVID, you know, and like Sarah was saying, all of the restrictions and delivery and stuff, it's hard. So I think La Viti is coming in right at a good time. It's perfect. And I look forward to partnering with them. And I just want to encourage all of you young artists out there, musicians or artists, um, Fijian and Pacific, you know, reach out to artists like myself as well. You know, like we're willing to just share some knowledge and help support you. Um, Do collabs. That's a really good way of um, pulling yourself up. And getting noticed so yeah keep going oh thank you so much for that sassy yeah no. look it, it's honestly we we bgn language week has we we're gonna say it again has been amazing it's thank been you our yeah it's been our favorite and and we're sorry to all of our mm-hmm. other you know to the wider <laughs> pacific community and to new zealand itself we do apologize but to that we say step up your game <laughs> that's right um look thank yes. you thank you thank you so much to sarah um our fijian mm. queen yes. who has mm. um helped our team here at Blue Wave to coordinate the you know Fijian Language Week. A massive shout out to Ministry of Pacifica People uh, for mm-hmm. the initiative that you uh, you know it's it's hard work. Um, we've also um, it's been back to back this month. We've got Tokelauan mm-hmm. Language Week and also New Wayan Language Week that um, the Ministry of Pacifica People will be pushing out as well. Mm-hmm. But it's crazy. It really is crazy. So a massive shout out to the team for the awesome work um, to our sponsors. Pacific um, 40, Pacific Easy, Moto Samoa, Seki Works, the Pacific Business Hub, Say Oriana. Uh, These are also small local businesses that we need, they need our help, Um, especially during this, um, you know, really hard time. Um, Otherwise... That's it from us. Do you want to say, because I do have a video that I wanted to um, close off the show with because it is uh, White Sunday this weekend uh, for Samoa. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, it's, it's quite sad because um, we did share a funny video yesterday um, and also on the Blue TV um, platform. I'm actually a little bit heartbroken today that we are unable to celebrate um, some, uh, you know, White Sunday. So um, a massive shout out to the Nansen family. Um, the twins actually sent um, a video to uh, Radio Samoa, but they've actually sent us uh, their creative dance. And I thought, 
you know what, let's celebrate, um, you know, with, they've sent us a video and we're going to acknowledge that. We're going to acknowledge um, the Nansen family um, and acknowledge White Sunday this week. So we're going to finish with that video. Otherwise, that's it. Yes. Um, Honestly, thank you so much, everyone, yep. for tuning in. It's been an absolutely fun um, and, you know, very um, good week to actually learn yeah. about all the Fijian um, cultures and tradition. Um, so thank you so much. And um, vinaka to all our guests that have been on our show and to um, Sarah and Sassy, thank you so much. And to everyone that's watching, have a beautiful, blessed um, weekend and we will see you again next week. God bless everyone. Naka. Naka.
Jonalo fao tu mau, ele liu e fava fao, e a Manuela está o tamaiti. Mama Avenga Line, Mali Pacific Easy, Moa Tupe Fam Moli Samo, Outapuni, I Officer Mulefava Yasu, Fanga Ne Lolna Wonga Forward to Uwa, Oli Direct Transfer, A Fai Woyesa Membership Card, my Fanga in the Internet Banking, Oli Matua Fang of your lover. Now let you possibly my lover Los Heleni Matu account, Oli Fatino Lel Lafoina Los Heleni Mo Ainga Samo, Eyea Inga Tahuna Famalina. Mo ni si fama talanga ili nei au au nang fau. Bala au le telefoni o valu selau o o o tasi o nono. Po le lua fitu o no fitu iva fitu fa. Pe teks mai fo ilo sua fa ili valu tolu o. Voucher is one of the most convenient ways that I'm finding now to do my shopping here at Farmer Joe. And I, my sister just sent through the voucher on my cell phone, and I just come straight to Farmer Joe to do my shopping. On the street, we're going to see you in the town. On the last four miles, we're going to see you in the town. On the far side, we're going to see you in the town. I think it's really convenient for families overseas if they don't know what to, how to help their families here. Then this is the perfect way. My is the same as the other one. 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 The same as the Tell <laughs> Sepala ya voice wow, mula ucapan. Apa itu apa itu apa ulasan? Awal itu pun, matu tu sepala ya voice eh mula ucapan. Mula untuk posisi dia, mua mua, tapi lau tak awal lepas itu. Mua, tapi lau telefon ni terima itu tu ina lau tak awal. Malah bayang aku mula mula, mana tua aku. E matu ai fa sa ina lo ta ma ta pa ai no fu anga ta te. Matu sa mo, ole matu sa mo sa mo. Ma do te fi fi a e au au na pe mo o e sa mo. Ma fa ile fi a mai. We'll see you again. God bless.